hello everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be explaining that how to install chat gpt on google doc now you can make your work easier and do a lot of stuff through the chat gpt by just integrating on your google doc the process is very simple and you just have to apply a few simple steps and after that you can do multiple tasks like you can write an application you can write a note by just giving one simple instructions all right so let's move and see that how you can do this now once you open your google doc on the top menu option you will be getting an option of extensions you have to click on extensions then click on add-ons then click on get add-ons and a google workspace marketplace will be up now here in the recommendation only you will be getting this gpt for sheet or you can just search for gpt hit the enter key and you have to look for this one gpt for sheets and docs you have to click on this then you need to click on install then click on continue and then you just need to give the permission so click on allow then click on next then click on done and once it will be installed you will see that on the right hand side the widget will be coming up now in case if you don't see this option then what you can do you can again click on extensions go to gpt for sheets and docs and then here you will be getting an option launch so click on launch and it will be coming on the right hand side all right so now you can see this kind of page is coming up but now in the next step we also need to integrate the api of the open ai all right so for that you will be getting a link in the description you have to come to this uh, platform.openai.com and once you come here you just need to sign up with your google account or with any of the email account and then you have to click on the profile picture then click on view api keys and here you have to click on create new secret key so click on it then click on create secret key and then you need to copy this key and now you can go back to the document and now here again click on extensions then hover up to gpt for sheet and then click set api key and here paste the key that you just copied then click on check and then you will be getting this message done your api key is valid so you have to click on save api key and you are all now set all right so now let me show you that if i go ahead and give some kind of task to it like i want to write an application a sick application to my school principal uh, so how it will write it down okay i'm just taking an example this can be anything whatever you want that it should perform you have to write that instruction over here so i will write an applic write a sick application or leave to my school all right now you have some more options like insert setting so you can just check this option of insert prompt in document and there are a few more options that you can check and then finally you have to click on submit and now this will take some time to just write a well-established content uh, with the well format so just have to have some patience here all right now you can see it says write a sick application that was my instructions i will delete it and now it says dear principal name so you can just replace with the principal name i'm writing to request relief of absence from school due to a medical condition unfortunately i have been experiencing several flu-like symptoms that have left me feeling weak and unable to attend classes wow this is really amazing and you can you can see that the format the paragraph the writing everything seems to be perfect it doesn't look like that it has been written by ai all right and then you can replace your name over here and then you can just uh, take a printout or whatever you want to or you want to send through an email then you can do that as well okay so there are a few more options like change the tone to you can just fix the grammar and spelling you can summarize you can translate so these are the options that you get over here you can change the language as well and hopefully you will love this video guys uh, this is a very useful feature that you must have if you're using a google doc or google sheet uh, you can apply on both of them and hopefully this will work for you as well and if you found this video helpful do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye